Are you ready to scream? <laughs> Well, hello, Jerry, my old friend and pal. How are you doing? Oh, you know, not too good. Really? Why not? Well, you know, th uh, I'm cursed. You're cursed? That's right. Well, what kind of curse is it? Can't you tell by looking? Um, well, let's see. Um, uh, not really. Look, look a little harder. I'm wood. I'm wood. You're wood? You've been made into wood? That's right. So this wood is cursed? That's right. This wood is cursed. Hmm. Well, you know what? What? By coincidence, a friend of mine, uh, an independent filmmaker, very up-and-coming young man, and his uh, friends, uh, in fact, one Jebediah Boone, who stars in a film, has made a film called This Woods is Cursed. Really? That's right. So, you know what? I'm not sure if I can help you with your situation of being cursed, but maybe we can watch the film together and maybe we can learn some pointers and see what happens. What do you think? That sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, let's roll them. Well, we don't really roll them, but we will get started with um, Norman Gale Butts. This woods is cursed, or the woods is cursed, or the curse of the woods, or one of those. Anyway, it's a very darkly comedic film, and let us let's go and see what it's all about. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it.
I swear to God, if there are more than two of us in the car, I would not have you reading the map right now. Ah, oh, come on! These old roads are hard to decipher. Especially on this made-to-order handout. I thought you said you knew how to get there. What I meant was, I had the exact location in my GPS, which you refused to turn around and get, by the way. My phone is the GPS. We don't need a GPS. Remember how Dad would always find, find shortcuts no matter where we were? Like the time you found a dirt road in the middle of the Twin Cities? Yeah. So it's just going to be us and Ted and Floyd, right? And Steve. Yeah. This I uh, miss him, man. It's the first time that we've all been together since. Him. Yeah, I know. I miss him too. Holy shit, it's a bear. My God, it's a bear. You see the bear? Hello, bear. Do you, know, do you are you familiar with TPP? No. So it's the new. It's basically the new um, NAFTA agreement, except it's internet related. Currently, and since the inception of the internet in the early 90s, the internet has been a wild, wild west. You can do whatever you want, all the time, anytime. That's your right as a free internet going individual to like go to any website. I don't want to say her name, but she's a major United States individual. Wants to make it so when you go on the internet, you have like an ID. You log into the internet as like your social security number, and then everything you do is logged and tracked all the time. Everything you say, everything you go, everything you do. And then that way there's security. There's, you know, there's safety. There's the world is our tomato, and we should keep every other chitlin safe from, which I agree, you know, there are protections. And the number one way that, you know, child predators are caught is not by cops sitting around. It's people who want to catch the child predators go out and catch them. Like people, people like you and me, we go out and we find them. We get them, and then we call the cops, and we take them down. We get them off the internet. That's natural selection. Um, instead of doing that, they want everyone to log in, you know, with your, your internet ICP code. Um, I don't know. You morons gonna help set up the tents? So that was yesterday was the vote. But that's an, it's an international trade agreement specifically to protect copyright infringement, which protects one entity. Like, they, you know who they are. Um, they're them, the, like, corporations who own. Once you've made your millions, oh, you're kind of good to go. Street the damn map, boss. Oh, 
Oh, hey, hey, there, there's somebody. Let, let's ask them. Howdy. We were wondering if you might be able to give us some directions. Maybe. We're uh, looking for the old Haney Logging Camp Road. The old Haney Logging Camp Road? You don't want to go there. Why? You don't want to go there. I helped build that road. Strange things happened in there. Things you just wouldn't want to expect. You don't want to go there. You'd cut down a tree, it would fall the wrong way. You'd look out into the weeds and the grasses. You'd hear whispers, whispers. Strange things in those woods. You don't want to go there. Okay. Well, it's just up the road a bit. Just up the road a bit. Yeah. But you shouldn't go there. Alrighty. Well, we'll uh, keep that in mind. Uh, thank you very much. I won't buy a car, I'll just ride my motorcycle for a year or so. Till the winter struck, and so he's cruising in the snow on his motorcycle, going like 10, 15, just trying not to wipe out. Hey guys, I'll be uh, back in a second. Where are you going? Snapper. What? Way over there? Well, you want me to do it in front of you guys? Come on. Ah, good point. I had a couple jobs where my responsibility is pretty much to like, cruise around this area when I drove a truck for a hydraulic company, um, picking up hydraulic cylinders, um, basically like when waste management, when they're cruising around. Hello? Hey, baby. Ted, honey, I wasn't expecting you to call so soon. How are your friends? Nah, they're, they're really sad. I don't think I can abandon them yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Is everyone else there? Well, Haas and Magnus, honey, you know, they said they'd be here, but they haven't shown up yet, and Steve is here, and Floyd is, well, you know how Floyd is. Yeah, I know how Floyd is. Uh, so I'm afraid you might have to go to your friend's shower by yourself. You're going to be there today and tomorrow? Can't you just leave when everyone else is asleep? Well, what do you want me to say? Oh, I'm sorry I have to break up my dead friend's bon voyage, but I have to go give a little blue nightshirt to my wife's friend. That is on Monday, and she's your friend too. You're not just using this to get out of going to a baby shower, are you? No, I'm sorry, honey. Look, can you just sign the card from both of us, and I will... I'll try to get home as soon as I can. You better call me before that. Thanks, honey. I love you, too. No, you hang up. She hung up. Huh, I thought I smelled you coming. What took you so long? I was busy. Yeah, what were you doing? Gotta ask all these questions? Are we gonna play cards or what? Well, I was under the impression we were gonna be playing some cards. Did you bring the cards? Right over here. Oh, so shopping. we do. So we do. I think you need a beer, man.
Well, we might as well strap on our backpacks and go look for them. I don't know. Got, the road's got to be around here somewhere. We just get, let's get back in the truck, circle around a couple more times, so we're going to find it. We've circled around like 17 times. If the road's out there, we, we're missing it. If we, if we just haul our butts into the jungle, what's to stop us from overshooting the campsite and hitting the road on the other side? Nothing, but if we hit the road on the other side, we can turn around and come back, find the road here, and find the truck. Okay. I Steve's guess. a really loud guy. So wherever Steve is, if we're within a mile of him, we're probably going to hear him. Don't worry, we'll find it. I have no doubt. Oh, the cooler. You got him. Okay, we entered from the south, so what we need to do is go north until we find them. It shouldn't be more than six minutes. Come on. Oh, come on. Can't even help with the damn cooler. I think that was a twist off, bro. Well, now what's wrong with your radio, Floyd? Oh, now that just ain't right. You just kind of got to give her a little, little tap there, but no, this is not correct at all. I mean, you put in new batteries, right? Yeah. Yeah, just bought them today, I believe. Now that is an odd dealio. That is unfortunate. Nothing doing. That sucks. No tunes for us. Yeah. Sing us a song. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. Not gonna guys. sing? Not tonight. Come on. What, you just want us to sit here playing cards in silence? 
Yes, yes, I do. It's too loud. Was that you, Haas? Magnus? These guys are supposed to be here about this time, right? Thought they were supposed to be here 10, 20 minutes ago. Right? No doubt. All right, Frenzy on Dad, it's Freak Show from Bordello of Horror. When I get my freak on, I'd love to get it on with Monster Movie Night with Bobby the Monster at monstermovienight.com. Haas? Magnus! Hey, I told you I could find it. Finally found us, man. Glad to see you. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, and just the fella I was waiting to see. Let me help you out there a little bit, man. Ah, what the? Thanks, bud. All right, man. Jackasses. Right, all right, all right. Looks like now everyone's here. We can get this here party started. Oh, yeah. Magnus, you play some cards? Yeah, I play some cards. Right on. What are you guys playing today? Now that we're up to five, I was thinking we'd do a little, uh, little hold'em. Sounds like a plan. Right on. Hold'em, you guys are just gonna be paying me. Ouch. Not this time, my friend. Not this a time. <sighs> Why aren't we in the shade? That, uh, Good point. does have a real thinker there. Oh, up and at him. Let's move. I just got here. <laughs> Shoots and ladders, all right. Yeah, that was originally called snakes and ladders. And then it got too violent for the chitlins, so they went ahead and PG'd it on down. Nice. I forgot about that, actually. Snakes and ladders, it does make more sense. I haven't done this in years. The straw's bending. Supposed to. Yeah. There we go. I got it. It's supposed to got make, her in there. It's supposed to make you think that you're not going to be able to get your juice, and at the last second, <laughs> it goes to the hole. And you get your juice. And you get your juice. Oh, yeah. Okay. The good. funny part is that's what I want to drink. <laughs> I'm like looking there, it's like nah, nah, nah. Juice box. Yes, we are. <laughs> the first time was my fault. The rest is you guys. <laughs> oh. This is, this is hot out, so we're not all frozen. <laughs> I will punch you. <laughs> it's funny because frozen has more than one meaning. <laughs> a one, -a, a two, -a, a three are meanings to frozen. Ah, 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 ah. Yo, man, do you want to hear my theme song? If my name was Craig. People be all like, hey, what's up, Craig? But my name's not Craig, it's Steve. All right, lay him down, boys. Credit cards. Lay him down, boys. You got credit cards? Full holes. This would be way easier climb with a, a table. I'd climb a ladder if I seen a snake. Wouldn't you? Would you like, would you like, if you saw a snake, would you attempt to ride said snake to the bottom of the board? Or do you ride snakes up? I don't ride snakes, period. 
<laughs> oh, I'm just saying. Sounds like a punishment. Right? <laughs> you gotta go ride that snake. Over there. <laughs> no! Billy? Billy, you know what you did. You go ride that snake. <laughs> now that just sounds wrong. <laughs> and there he was, creeping and crawling through these here very woods, when suddenly, out from the rushes with a bustling and crustling of the crows and the bees, came the toad. <laughs> you know, it's really funny that you bring up horror stories, because this land is actually the location of one. There's an old legend that Francis's father told me around a bonfire a couple of years back. You see, when the, the wagon trains were going west, there was a, a little town around here. It, it didn't have a name. It was before Wisconsin was a territory. And, I mean, it was made up of lumberjacks and farmers and, you know, mill workers, not much else. And there was a drought. It hit pretty hard, and Francis's great-great-grandfather lived here. And he married a woman from England. And they had a farm in this area. And after the drought, all, everyone's land was affected. The mill shut down, people couldn't grow crops anymore, people were starving, sick, except for the grandfather. That land, immensely profitable. Potatoes, corn, everything they tried to grow, it, it was nonstop, more than they could handle. You see, everyone started thinking, you know, what, what's going on with this? It didn't make sense to the villagers. And one day, a couple of young boys came on the property and went up to the little shack and they heard low, guttural moans, chanting. And they ran back and they told the village what they heard. And being back then, people were a lot more suspicious than they are today. They thought she was a witch and they came to the property with pitchforks and torches. Well, when they got there, they found a hidden trap door in the shack, and, and under there was all sorts of evil things. Jars filled with dead animals, bones, powders, blood, substances. They didn't know what it was. So, they hung her. They brought her out to a tree not far from here. Right before they kicked out the stool from under her and snapped her neck, she said her last words, this woods is cursed. May the leaves, the animals, the very air and ground itself avenge me. Anyone who tampers with my land. And then her neck was snapped. The grandfather buried her on this land, even though the townspeople wanted to burn her. Since then, crops haven't been able to grow on this land. And they say at night, you can still hear her scream. <laughs> Damn it, what is wrong with that radio? I guess the batteries, they were just loose. <laughs> I couldn't have planned that better. I guess the batteries must have been loose.
Francis called me? Feel that bad. <sighs> Where's Ted? Why did you didn't set up the tents last night? Oh, I forgot. I tried to set up the tent last night, and then I took a nap in it. Guys! Guys! You, you gotta come see this! Come on! Come on, you really... It's important! Get over here! You need to see this, it's crazy! Must be real important. Magnus, Floyd, Haas, Steve is just asleep. You guys are assholes! Everybody go. Come on. Ugh. Come on guys, you see what this is? It's the cabin. Guys, let's go find the trap door. Let's go inside. Let's see what's in there. Come on. I mean the, the fog is it's probably an underground cave system or something. Come on! Am I the only one with a sense of adventure? Let's go! Oh, alright. You'll never know what's in there unless you look. Come on! I know one thing that's not going to be in there. What? Us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. Come on! Stop the He's uh, been gone a long time. Should, uh, should one of us go look for him? I'll call you for it. Steve, would you wake up already? Rochambeau. Dang it. <laughs> How are you, buddy?
You guys want to get killed with me or you want to get killed looking for me? Hmm, interesting film so far, right? What do you think, Jerry? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. What, what, do you, what, what do you think is going to happen next? No, no, don't know. Have no idea. But I'm telling you one thing. That, that, uh, that Woods and, and, uh, me, and me has things in common. What's that? We're cursed. Uh, you never, you, that's right, you were saying you were cursed, made into wood. What happened? Well, I was dating this girl. You was dating a girl? That's right. Well, uh, uh, did you, did you upset her? Yeah, I kind of did. Well, what did you do? Well, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of called her a name. You called her a name? Yeah. What did you call her? I said she was sweet. You said she, you said she was sweet. That's right. And she cursed you and made you into wood for that? Yep. Why did she do that? Well, because she was a witch. And she didn't want to be sweet. Oh. <laughs> okay. I, I see what you're saying. Well, anyway, I'm not too sure that uh, tonight's film has anything to do with that. It might be. Starting of the film and everything like that. You know, witches and curses sometimes sometimes go together, especially if you make them mad, call them names. You shouldn't do that. Never do that. Being quarter witch myself, I know that I wouldn't like to be called a name that I didn't like. Yeah, now you're telling me. Yeah, now, well, I'm telling you for later reference anyway. So <laughs> let's, let's get back to... Uh, with Jebediah Boone in this woods is cursed. Ted? Check this out. Jesus, Dad. What do you got? Hold this, buddy. found something for a minute. This looks like some old books and a creepy ass doll. Great. Oh yeah. I, I actually thought there'd be something cool in here. Look at this thing. Hello. Feels weird. Wanna go get lunch, dude? Yeah, let's go. Alright. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go looking for them. Or oh, hell should no. we all go looking for them? Hell no. One, two, three, not it. <laughs> you guys suck. Oh, hey, there they come. Oh, good. Oh, thank God.
Anything in there? Nah, not really. Lunch? Yeah. For sure. Get that fire rolling. Mmm, steak fritz. You know what would have been smart? Buns. You know what would have been smart? Tongs. Bread me. Pickle weasel. Ooh, I know. <laughs> I'm bold. I'm bold. I'll take two. Aww, oh, yeah. Oh, I should have kept the spade. There are fives, no. queen high. Straight. Uh, seriously? You got a straight? Oh, oh yeah. he's got three. He's got three of a kind. Wait. Jack, queen. Oh, what? No way. That's that's a full that's a straight that's a large straight. There's no large or small. There's only a straight. You're thinking Yahtzee, buddy. I know. That's what, that's the only kind of poker I know is Yahtzee <laughs> poker. <laughs> uh, stabbing cabin. <laughs> stabbing cabin. What's that? You've never heard of the stabbing cabin? No, I've not heard of the stabbing cabin. They used to be a place where, like, you know. Guys and girls would go and you know whatever, and then somebody actually got stabbed there. And then... Dang it, man! You left the jokers in again. I took the jokers out. That's not supposed to happen. That's not good. That's certainly not good. Somebody must have switched up the cards. Is... Is that the dead man's hand? You have a well worked a great evil something buried long, long ago. It was it was it was to destroy you. You must find it and burn it. You must find the gem in the books. I have no time. I have no time. Find the journal. Find the journal. Find the evil. Find the evil. Destroy it. the same thing. Right? But then the battery. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me get the remote to that. That was one funny joke. You got all of us just scared out of our britches, I'd say. <laughs> there's, there's no remote to that. I don't like this. The, the batteries. You, they just jangled. We should go. I agree. 
the hell is that? You guys see that too? I thought you left that back at the cabin. I did. This is really funny, guys. Which one of you left this here? I think any of us did. This. This is what I think about your curses. You see it? This is what I think about your curses. But he wasn't anywhere near the fire. It still doesn't make him any less dead. We're dealing with the supernatural here. That's for sure. No, we, we need to listen to the radio. Francis, Francis was trying to help no, us. No, no, it was the radio. He, he probably had some gasoline spilled on his pants. Francis told us that we need to find the book. That's the only way. You know what we should do? We should book it out of here. Running away is not the best answer. This curse could follow us. If it's not a doll that sets us on fire, it'd be a, a car's brake line or a malfunctioning escalator. Look, Dad, there's one thing we're sure not going to do. We're not going to split up. We go back to the cabin. We find that book that we left. A long time ago, I decided if any weird supernatural shit started happening around me, then I would get out of the woods. All right, well, at least we're on common ground now about that thing. We have a car. Let's go. Whoa! Sorry, buddy. Is 
He's gone. Not all of them. He must have got caught on one of those limbs and torn in half. Oh, good grief. What? It's moving. Fill it up. Let's just hope it starts. It'll start. That's not good. You two guys are just busy with the car. I'm gonna drain it. I'll be back. You know what's wrong? Shut up. Crap it is. Magnus! Oh, time they say we just stay in a hotel can we please try my idea
That's that was not a bear. That was a bear. Dude, I think we just hit somebody. Oh my gosh. Dude, that ain't a bear. What is it? Dude, I don't know, but that ain't no bear. Stop wasting your time watching internet porn and tune into Monster Movie Night. I'll be back in just a minute. I got it, guys. We're gonna be okay. Ah! Ted! Magnus! Ted! Magnus! Magnus!
Magnus! Ted! Magnus! Oh, where the hell are you guys? Figure this out, right? Road. It's road. It's road. It's a road. It's a road. It's a road. It's a Right. It's not gonna stop. Uh, shit. Ain't gonna stop with this woods. Hold on, Magnus. I'm coming! Gibberish. It, this is all gibberish. It's not even English. Is that a gunshot? I don't know. What do you think I am, a thesaurus? I'll be right back. What? You're gonna leave me here alone? Just for a bit. I have to, I have to find that shooter. Here. Here's the chainsaw. You cut up anything that moves. Be right back. Oh! 
Thanks for the assist. No problem. Where's Ted? Back at the campsite. Oh. Alone? He's with the car. Better go get back to him, though. Before a tree eats him. He's dead, okay? He's dead. And you know something else? We're next, because that's what this one does. It kills people, and we are going to die. I'm gonna get eaten alive by bugs first. That old man was right. We should have stayed away from this place. But no, we were dumb enough to follow Tweedledum and Tweedledum and Floyd down here. Hey. Hey. Are you even listening to me? At. Hidden in the Bible, there were there were pages from the journal. Really? What do they say? It's a map telling us how to burn the witch, and we don't need a GPS.
way. South. All right, that way. Three X's, you found it. Start digging. Magnus, go get some wood for a bonfire. Magnus! Wood's not going to be fast enough! Matches quick! I can't believe we both forgot matches. Let's hope the gun has enough spark.
Hmm, what an interesting film. Uh, it, it was really well made. I mean, the independent filmmakers as they are, I mean, they're the future of horror hosting. You, you, you right, Boris? <laughs> I see that our little friend Jerry has uh, taken off. Uh, did you see him go? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping he learned a little something about his curse being made of wood and everything. Maybe he can uh, actually go back and uh, sweet talk his uh, witch lady friend to, to take it off of him. You think so? You don't, you don't think so? Well, we can only hope. <laughs> if not, he's always got a job here at uh, Gargoyle Manor, the Monster Museum. We can, uh, you know, have him as a lookout to help you a little bit. You think? Hmm. Mm, a little bit maybe okay anyway it was a great film and we do appreciate uh, Norman Butt for uh, making it for us and allowing us to use it here on Monster Movie Night and until the next time we will try and try our might to find those wonderful wonderful tidbits and and ends and odds and beginnings and middles and all this stuff to make a great film or dig up an old great film or actually get a new great film right boris either way it'll be great <laughs> well until until next time as always keep screaming <laughs>